Hi guys, it's Morgan, and today I'm going to be talking about the second book in the Calliope Reaper Jones series, Cat's Claw by Amber Benson. So if you think you might be interested in reading this series, stop watching the video now if you don't want to be spoiled, or if you don't care about spoilers, keep watching! So I hope you like the review! Now if you read the first book, Death's Daughter, or you saw my review for it, you would know that Calliope had to go on a quest to find three things before she could become Death. And one of those things was to find a baby hellhound from the three-headed dog Kerberos. And in that book, after she got the baby hellhound, Kerberos told her that later he would expect a favor. So in this book is when Kerberos asks Calliope to do a favor for him. Calliope gets a mysterious phone call from someone she doesn't know and that person wants to meet with her. Calliope meets an old woman in her apartment, and after Calliope yells at her, the old woman sets a cat on her. Madame Papillon and Muna have come to Calliope to tell her that something is wrong with her aura. Madame Papillon tells Calliope that her weakness is cats and that she should keep it a secret. Madame Papillon tells Calliope that Daniel isn't dead. Calliope feels hurt that Daniel made her think he was dead, and if I was Calliope, I would feel hurt too. Calliope finds out that Ren's father, Cerberus, wants to talk to her. Calliope meets a monster named Chuck in Hell, and Chuck tells her that she helped Daniel ascend to his rightful place. Cerberus tells Calliope that if she can do his favor, he will let her keep Runt. But if she can't, she has to take over his job. Calliope and Cleo get Jarvis to help Calliope get into purgatory. Calliope realizes that the shade is Daniel and lets him go inside of her. Jarvis introduces Calliope to the cat Bast, who is her father's spirit guide. Since no one will tell Calliope about Cinnamon's death records, she gets Bast to take her to the Jackal Brothers. Calliope makes a deal with the Jackal Brothers that if she wins, she gets Cinnamon, and if they win, they get her soul. Cinnamon tells Calliope that if she can help him find his greatest love, he will help her get Daniel out of Bast. I felt really bad for Cinnamon when he went to talk to his greatest love in her new form and she had no idea who he was. And I felt even worse when we found out who the girl really was. I was surprised when Calliope realized that Cinnamon's greatest love was now pretending to be Madame Papillon. Calliope brings Cinnamon to Cerberus, but time has run out, so now Calliope is the new guardian of the North Gate of Hell. But then the goddess Kali comes and saves her. Runt is revealed to be her father's replacement, and she can now talk. Runt tells Calliope that she has to go home because Cleo and Jarvis need her. Calliope tells Bast that she thinks the reason Haspicia pretended to be Madame Papillon and tell Calliope that cats are her weakness was so Calliope would never interact with Bast. Calliope tells Bast that she will summon has been sure under Madame Pompalon's name, only if Bass gives her back Daniel's shade. And Bass said she will, but then Bass betrays Calliope, and Calliope has to watch helplessly while Cleo and Jarvis are burned. Bass tells Calliope that the young woman they thought was Cinnamon's greatest love was actually his daughter. Calliope realizes that Bass told Cerberus to ask Calliope to find Cinnamon. Cleo and Jarvis are revealed to be alive, and Calliope realizes that Haspinsher and the Mix were in fake bodies, and they were the ones who burned. The goddess Nefertiti tries to take over Calliope's body, but Sentiment stops her. Cleo tells Calliope that she's been seeing Hydra, and Calliope tells Cleo that she's happy for her. And then the book ends with Daniel visiting Calliope at her apartment, and they kiss. So I hope you liked my review of Cat's Cradle. The next book review I'm going to do is going to be the third book of the series, Serpent Storm. Bye.